Um, before I found airplanes, I pretty much didn't know what I was doing. I was kind of a failure in high school, <laughs> not gonna lie. Um, I was just working dead-end jobs at AutoZone, Speedway, just anywhere I can make money, anywhere I can make anything to afford my car, insurance, and my phone and all that. When I was working at AutoZone, I met Anthony, which is one of the originals here is what we call him. <laughs> we went out a few times, he told me about the museum and how it works, and I was like, can I please see this? I've always wanted to see anything more bird-wise. <laughs> I've got a little experience at first, and I was like, this is what I do with my life. Uh, it was history class, probably eighth grade. My teacher was more of a, he loved talking about the history of airplanes, anything related to it. And I've always been into movies. My dad has shown me with Warbirds as well, as a kid. Well, I'd start off by trying to get them away from the screens, because that's what everything is these days. It's all about screen time, video games, TikToks, Instagram, Snapchat, anything social media-wise. I used to be the same way, honestly, until I met Anthony and he brought me here. And it's way better than sitting on your phone or playing on a computer. It gets you out, it gets you learning, it gets you figuring out if you want to do this with your life. Like it helped me find my career. Maybe it could help your kid find yours, so. I now have finally left AutoZone and I now work at IFL at Pontiac Airport, working on Convair 5800s, Convair 580s, all kinds of old planes, new planes. 727, ATR 42, brand new ATR 72 all the big birds. <laughs>